Hey POC viewer, welcome to another episode with POC Guru to jumpstart your Spring Boot application using IntelliJ, Java, Maven under 8 minutes. Install IntelliJ, Java and Maven using the links in the description. Open IntelliJ and click on the new project button to open the new project dialog box. Enter a project name and select the language as Java and build system as Maven. Click on the create button and your project will be loaded by IntelliJ. You can see a default package created for you by IntelliJ. You may delete the package structure or use it. It's totally up to you. I'm going to create a meaningful package structure and add an app class with a main method in it. Next, I'm going to open the form.xml and add some Spring Boot dependencies to it. The starter web and the starter test. The starter web is for importing the Spring Boot framework and the starter test is for your unit test cases. Also, I'm going to add a build plugin to package this application as a jar so that you can launch it from any terminal. The output jars are available under the target directory after you run the package command from Maven. Set the main class as the app class, which will be the entry point for your application. The output file will be the output name of the jar suffix with the version in the POM file. Let's refresh all dependencies by going to the Maven dialog box and clicking on the refresh button. IntelliJ will index all the dependencies now. Let's start building the Spring Boot application. Let's go to the app class and add some annotations. The annotations such as Spring Boot application, which lets the framework detect this app class as a Spring Boot application. Let the framework take control by adding some Spring specific code in the main method. Now that we added some Spring specific code, Let's run the application and see if the application starts. You can actually see in the terminal that the application has started successfully and is running on port 8080. Let's add some RESTful endpoints to this application. I will add a hello world controller and annotate it with REST controller. I will add a get method at the root of the application. Invoking this endpoint will return a constant string. You can actually put in your own logic here. Let's make sure that we haven't broken anything by running the application once again. You can see that the server has started successfully on the port 8080. We all know that the code is never complete without a test case. So let's write one. Create a similar package structure under the test directory. Add a test class with the annotations of Spring Boot test and auto configure mock MVC. Create a mock MVC object with auto-wired annotation and write your test case just the way I did. Update your test case based on the response generated by a RESTful endpoint and watch it succeed by running it.
Now that your test cases are running, let's package the project using the Maven toolbar. Click on the package button to generate the output jar in the target folder of the project. After you package it, you should be able to see the jar under the directory. The jar you generated has all the dependencies of Spring baked into it. You can just copy the jar and run it directly on any other system that has Java on it. Let's try that now. Open the terminal and change your directory to the target folder. Type in java-jar and the jar name and you should see your application start. You can actually verify that by looking in the console logs that the server has started on port 8080. You can open the browser now and go to localhost 8080 and you should be able to see the output generated by your REST endpoints. Congratulations, you have just started your Spring Boot application with one get mapping endpoint. You may add more RESTful endpoints and scale your application. That's it for now, POCBR, your Spring Boot application under 8 minutes. Thank you for watching and subscribe for more videos.